<clears throat> so what you guys are willing to tell me is that a lady who spent eight years as mayor in Alaska, anywhere, is fit to be the vice president of the United States? She left her town $20 million in debt. Okay? She went and fired a librarian, you know, uh, to try and censor the library. She wants to teach creationism in school. I mean, this lady is pro-gun, but anti-birth control? Well, I mean, what is that? Do you really want that sitting across from people like Putin or, you know, I mean, come on. It is absolutely absurd to suggest. And she's, a, she's a, uh, they're touting her being a big reformer. I got news for you. Go check it out yourself. You can go to fact check and go wherever. She, <laughs> she had so many earmarks that it equaled out to be about $300 per person in Alaska. You got big oil companies helping her campaign because she wants to build a pipeline to bring around jobs, probably to get rid of that $20 million debt and scoot it under the table. You know what I'm saying? She's being investigated for using abusing her power to get someone fired. Gee, does that sound like a pattern to you? Let's go back to what we said earlier about Wasil in Alaska or in the mayoral place. They had like the oh, incredibly high turnover rate because she fired so many people. Gee, I wonder. Hmm. I can't believe in the United States of America that it's come to a point where by sympathy and just by sheer gut, people want to elect the most powerful positions that we have. I'm not trying to say that Obama's perfect or he's got this uber untouchable record at all. But this lady has, I mean, it, it, America, it's time to straighten your shit out. Sort it out because you can't, you can't do this kind of thing because if you do this, if you let this happen, you, yeah, you break a glass ceiling, but not the one Hillary Clinton was talking about. You're merging religion and politics in a way that is just frightening and if that's what you want then go ahead and vote you know and, and, and here's another thing before before we go is sexism like the new witch hunt is that the new thing because I see it thrown around all the time it's like how in Salem they used to accuse their neighbor of being a witch so they could buy their property or get rid of them because they didn't like them that's what I'm starting to see every time somebody says something towards a woman candidate of any nature it can be twisted into sexist as like an attack form you say that but then I go to see Sarah Palin at the Republican convention and everyone's got flags and pins saying hottest governor from the coolest state what, what is that I mean it's ridiculous Good luck out there.